Okay, so on these rants uh, for the Walking Dead Saints and Sinners, just gonna upgrade my base and see how long I can survive and do rants on Hollywood now. Here's an idea for a spoof. Now, have you ever seen the movie with Dustin Hoffman outbreak? They said, as usual, before he, every performance, he just did a caricature of himself. You know, uh, you know, he's a great actor, so they're doing a remake of Die Hard, you know, and, well, instead of going with classic Die Hard, they, you know, cast Dustin Hoffman as John McClane, but John McClane becomes, you know, uh, his name's Kramer, and you know, he's an amalgamation of a lot of Dustin Hoffman characters, so it's a crossover between Outbreak and Die Hard. Now, this movie would be great. The movie begins, his name's Kramer, he's a hard-working doctor for the Centers of Disease Control, and he has a happy marriage with Rene Russo, but Rene Russo takes his two dogs and he she like screws off to California and gets a job at the Nakatomi Tower. It takes his two dogs, but you know, Kramer can't leave. He's trying to stop, you know, Donald Sutherland from getting the Motaba virus. And that's how it starts off, but you know, Kramer, he's, he's going to the Nakatomi Tower. He's going to the Nakatomi Tower to tell off you know, Rene Russo, how dare you take my dogs? I am trying to stop Donald Sutherland from getting the Mataba virus. And you just think I can pick up and go to LA? Oh, Rene Russo, that is foolish. So Kramer goes to the Nakatomi Tower, except when he gets there, he chews out Rene Russo. But then Donald Sutherland, the evil, you know, a uh, colonel who wants the Mataba virus takes the people, including Rene Russo, at the Nakatomi Christmas party hostages, and he has the Pawnee from Little Big Man as his mercenaries. And you know, uh, you know, like, uh, he says he uh, wants the Mataba virus, but is a Canadian actor is pissed off and like. Ryan Gosling, you know, is his second in command. He's pissed off that Canadian actors are stuck, you know, being funny and friendly. And he wants more serious parts for Canadian actors. And they want the Oscars, which are in the vault. And that guy who's good with computers is trying to crack the, you know, safe to get those Oscars for Donald Sutherland and Ryan Gosling. You know, but, you know, what happens is, you know, you know, uh, you know, you know, Kramer does it off and he, you know, runs away with his hazmat suit. He goes, oh shit, Donald Sutherland's got more top of virus in. He's got the Mataba virus and he's taking the people hostage. I gotta save him. So he gets a walkie talkie, he goes up to the roof and he phones the CDC for help. And the CDC is like, well, uh, Dr. Kramer, we need you to go to Tanzania to stop an outbreak of Ebola. And, you know, uh, Kramer's like, I'm not going to Tanzania. Uh, put your finger on the phone. Put your finger on the phone. Put your finger on the phone. I gotta stay here at the Nakatomi Tower. Donald Sutherland, you know, has the Mataba virus and we gotta stop him. You know, and of course, like, uh, the, you know, the police officer is helping him, his chief Dan George, the little big man, with the talk on the walkie-talkie. You no, know, he just keeps saying, it's a good day to die. Oh. It's a good day to die, Kramer. And, you know, oh, and that would be a great movie. You know, and the music would be great, you know. You know, the part where Donald Sutherland and Ryan Gosling finally get into the vault and get those Oscars. You know, it's bombastic. You know, Beethoven music. Da, 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 da. Oscars for Canadians. 
We are not stucking being nice guys who are funny Oscars for Canadians. You know, Kramer's trying to stop Donald Sutherland. And he's, he's got insane ransom demands to, you know. <laughs> yeah, that would be a great... Oh, shit. Do I... Oh, I forgot to bring bandages. Forgot to bring bandages. So this remake of Die Hard is a crossover between, you know, Die Hard and every Dustin Hoffman movie. You know, the insane uh, demands, you know, Donald Sullivan's making. Yeah, I want an Oscar for John Candy, Mike Myers, you know, and that guy that played Deadpool, I forgot, forgot what his name is, but... You know, can't you see him getting an Oscar? You know, and you know, uh, uh, yeah, Jonathan Demi, the FBI agent. Oh yeah, we got we got Del Sol and Wiley and Gosling with the hostages on the roof of the building. So on the roof of the building, we can take out you know Del Sol and Ryan Gosling, and you know maybe maybe, maybe you know like. 10% of the hostages in, you know, helicopter with Jonathan Demi and the sniper rifle flying around the Nakatomi Tower, but does it often, or Kramer's on the top of the building, he's got to stop it, you know, and he's like, oh god, I got to stop Jonathan Demi in the helicopter, what do I do? Then Morgan Freeman calls up, he goes, listen, listen, Kramer, listen, Kramer, uh, Jonathan Demi, can I kill Donald Sutherland, Ryan Gosling, and 10% of the hostages, unless he has a Clear one to his target. So, you know, Donald, you know, Dustin Hoffman or Kramer's like on the walkie talkie going, Yeah, listen, yeah, listen. Uh, if you think I'm lying to you, you know, shoot the hostages. If you think, if you think I'm wrong, shoot the hostages. But, Jonathan Demi, do not shoot those hostages just because you're under orders. Do not shoot those hostages and put your finger on the phone and Chief Dan George is on the walkie talkie going, it's a good day to die, Kramer. Can't you see that? Wouldn't that be like a great, you know, a great Die Hard movie? You know, it, you know, not that great music when Dustin Hoffman, you know, is in on the top of the knock and tell me tower and he's trying to get, you know, Jonathan Demi did not shoot the hostages in the music playing. Da 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 da. Jonathan Demi, don't shoot those hostages. Oh shit, now I gotta find my way back to my base. Oh, I need bandages. I didn't think this route out very well. Man of Air Zombies, I did my bit, but wouldn't that be a great movie? Wouldn't that be a great movie? Outbreak crossed with Die Hard. Outbreak crossed with Die Hard. That could be a great movie. <laughs> Oh shit, I didn't think this out. I didn't think this out too clearly. I'm getting my ass kicked. <sighs> shit! No weapons! Who who planned this clusterfuck? Well, I got I gotta like stop here because that was a good bit, so I'm out, but that would be oh you zombie sons of bitches! <laughs> <laughs> 